Hello my friend and welcome to this training video. What we're going to show you here to do is how to actually install a subdomain on a domain name that you already have. Essentially when you purchase a domain name um, and you have a hosting account, uh, depending on the hosting account that you do have, you have the ability to create an unlimited number of subdomains which essentially gives you an unlimited number of websites. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, real quickly in this video. It's going to be a very short video, so pay very close attention. Uh, as you can see, I am logged into my cPanel for a hosting account for one of the domains that I own. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to scroll down to where it says domains right here. Okay, now no matter what your cPanel um, looks like, it may be a little bit different if you have a different hosting per um, service than HostGator. Um, but right here, you're going to see that it has the subdomains. It says subdomains right here, and you have your add-on domains, park domains, etc. Uh, what we're going to focus on here is subdomains. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to bring me on over to my subdomain menu. Now, what I need to do is I need to select the domain name that I have hosted with my hosting company that I want to create the subdomain for. Now, I have a lot of domains in here. You may only have one or two but uh, I personally have a considerable number of domains. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to globalwealthtakeover.com, which is the one that I'm going to create a subdomain for. And uh, what we need to do is we need to create our subfolder. Now, basically what that is, our folder for globaltakeover.com is the regular domain name, the website. Now, our subdomain can be any spin-off of that. It can be, um, I say for example, if you're a member of an affiliate program, it could be the name of that affiliate program dot globaltakeover.com or dot your domain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subdomain folder so that I can show people how to create uh, uh, install plugins and stuff like that onto a basic WordPress install. So WP uh, test is what I'm going to call this subdomain. So I'm going to go ahead once I've created my subdomain URL, so it'll be wptest.globaltakeover.com will be this the domain name for this particular website. I'm going to go ahead and click the create button. And there it is. The subdomain has been created. We do have one more step uh, to install WordPress on our subdomain. And that's actually relatively simple when you're using, uh, for example, HostGator. And whatever, whatever hosting service that you have, you probably have a very similar option. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the Home button here at the top. That's going to take me back to my control panel. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I don't need that. And then what I need to do is I need to scroll all the way down to this little smiley face called Fantastico. Um, I actually really like this program. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click that button, and I'm going to tell my uh, hosting account that I want to install a WordPress platform on this subdomain. And all WordPress is is a, a um, open source file that you can use to be able to build uh, websites in any manner that you wish. Okay, And as you can see, I have a considerable number of, of subdomains hosted on my account. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to do on the left-hand side, you have a series of options. And under here, we have blogs. Go ahead and click on this WordPress blog. That's going to bring you over to your installation dashboard just like this. Okay, So now when you're here, you're going to do a new installation. And don't worry if you don't see current installations and hundreds of those. I, I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of domains um, installed on installed on my account because I host domains for other people on uh, on some of my domain names. Now here's what we have here. Here's our WordPress installation dashboard. Now as you can see, it's steps one of three are complete. Now you want to install on your domain. If you have you have a drop down menu that's going to have all the domains that you have created. You probably I'm gonna, I'm not going to guarantee this, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm willing to bet that you have a lot less than I do on your account. So it's going to be really easy for you to be able to find your domain. It's not going to look like this, but here it is right here, wptest.globaltakeover.com. So what I do is I go ahead and I put that right there. Now I personally don't do anything down here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete uh, my admin emails, all that stuff. Now access data, this is very important. I call it admin and then our password, we're just going to do a two, three, four, five, six for the uh, 
all intents and purposes of this video so that you can see how this actual process works. I'm going to go ahead and click the install WordPress button here on the bottom. And that's it. Um, we're over here to our step two. Our SQL database has been installed. Here's actually the uh, user user for that. Um, now, don't worry about any of this stuff. It's not really as important as the next screen. Now, here's our um, our URL for the domain name, which is like we said, wptest.globaltakeover.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish the installation. Okay, that's it. The installation is now completed. Uh, now this right here, this section of your screen, you can go ahead and copy this. And then what you can do is you can simply go up and go to a text file, which actually I can't do that up there, sorry. Uh, just go to a text file so that you can um, you can save your, your uh, login details for your uh, WordPress installation. So just uh, go onto your computer if you're using a Mac. Um, it's in your, your launch pad. If you're using a PC, you just go to your notepad down in your start menu. So this information right here, we'll go ahead and we'll minimize that. Now what we will need to do is you can come on over here, wptest.globaltakeover.com. Okay. And there it is. There's our WordPress blog installation. This is just the basic installation of WordPress. Now you log into your WordPress dashboard and you can manipulate your site. So I hope this helps. This is Andrew Newman signing out. Have yourself a fantastic day and I will see you in a future video.